get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a beach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Live from the Sweet and Snack Show Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, live at the Sweet and Snack Show. I'm here with Ari. He's the co-founder of Evo Hemp, delicious uh, hemp bars. This is like the hot thing right now. So talk about some of the products, what you guys do, and then I want to hear why you started this company. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, So we started uh, Evo Hemp. We've got a line of nutrition bars. Uh, We have uh, hemp hearts, hemp protein powder, hemp seed oil, and hemp extracts as well. Um, Really got into industrial hemp more from an environmental and uh, economic perspective, really learning about how hemp farmers up in Canada were earning about four to ten times the amount of income per acre than our farmers here in the States growing corn, wheat, and soy. So we thought, you know, what a great opportunity to kind of revitalize our rural economies. So what's the most popular product flavor? Yeah, right now, uh, basically, it's kind of split into two. We have a mango macadamia bar, which you're yeah, holding right that's there. Why I grabbed that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That was actually the first uh, bar we ever developed uh, about seven years ago. Uh, and then also, our, our latest uh, bar that's doing really well is the cookie dough. So it's a cashew butter Can't base of a hemp protein. Can't go wrong with cookie dough. Talk about constructing the first product or bar. Where was this? Where were you? Yeah, so it, it started off in our home kitchen. Uh, my business partner Jordan and I kind of just were literally hand pressing fruit and nut bars. So we'd go into, you Why? know, just. Well, really, because it kind of highlights the nutritional benefits of the hemp seed the best. You know, hemp seeds are the best plant-based source of protein, um, you know, most nutritionally complete food source. And so whenever you're trying to develop an energy bar, you're really trying to get a lot of nutrients in a small package. Well, hemp seeds provide, you know, the best plant protein, an incredible omega-3 profile, tons of minerals. um, And it's a really good alternative to things like soy or whey or flax seeds. Talk about the evolution of creating the product and the facility, right? So you start in your kitchen, hand pressing it, where do you go from there? Yeah, so uh, after we uh, were literally hand pressing these bars with a little silicone mold, you know, we got to the point where we got into Whole Foods Market and we we're like, all right, we really need to scale this. We went from 700 bars a day. You work 24 hours hand pressing and still won't exactly. make a difference. Still not even get close. So we went from 700 bars a day to 10,000 bars a day mm-hmm. um, by getting a, an extruder and a, a pack, better packaging equipment and, and a couple new employees. So how did you get into Whole Foods? Um, well, really, it was just a lot of sampling. Um, you know, we'd go in and, and hand in products into the retailers, but it was also about getting into some of their competitors. So once, you know, we were able to get into, like, the natural grocers and the Lucky's Markets of the world, they would start seeing us in those stores and saying, hey, you know, we really want to try this product as well. So talk about some of the milestones along the way for you. Yeah, so, uh, you know, Whole Foods was a big milestone. Um, the next one was really uh, Wegmans Market on, on the East Coast because that kind of took our brand from being, you know, a little local Colorado company to now we were going to scale this thing nationally. Um, and, and from there, you know, it kind of went from in 2014, we were actually the first company to be able to source U.S. grown hemp ingredients. So we created the first U.S. supply chain of hemp food ingredients. You guys are early on, right? I mean, it's, it's catching on now, but... Seven years ago, even four years ago, it wasn't as popular, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, seven years ago when we first started, people were like, well, is this rope in a bar? Like, I, I know I've heard of him clothing, but why am I eating this? Uh, and it's changed rapidly in the last seven years. And it's kind of interesting now. People are learning about hemp through CBD or cannabinoids True. and then coming to us and then learning about the benefits of hemp food, which is right. kind of interesting. How we came out of it is learning about the hemp seeds and the hemp protein first and, you know, and then became fans of the, the cannabinoids and the extracts. So talk, there's a lot of misconceptions out there, right? Is this have THC in it? What's going? So talk about just ingredient wise, what are some, just uh, bust some of the misconceptions out there. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, really the main difference between hemp and the drug variety of cannabis is, you know, 0.1% of a molecule. So in order to be called industrial hemp, it has to have less than 0.3% THC, the psychoactive component found in cannabis. If it has 0.4% THC or more, it's considered the drug variety. And so that's like the main point that, you know, I always try to get across is, you know, there are 
pretty much the same plant. One is, you know, considered the drug variety. One is considered the non-drug variety. Um, and there's incredible, you know, n nutritious and, you know, health benefits uh, from both sides. So this has no THC in it and is perfectly legal everywhere in the U.S.? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, hemp seeds have been, you know, sold in this country for decades. You know, it's been sold in, you know, Asia for thousands of years as a, you know, a stable food source. Um, but it's just, you know, the gray area between, you know, the drug variety of cannabis and the non-drug variety have gotten a little bit crossed because of the CBD industry. Sorry, tell people where can they find the bars and the product? Yeah, so you can find the, you know, Whole Foods, uh, some a lot of the Kroger banners like King Supers. You can find them at Costco on the West Coast, HEB down in Texas. Um, best place to look is kind of evohemp.com, and we have a store locator there, and we also ship directly from the website. Ship directly. Cool. Yeah. And then um, I want to talk about some of the challenges and proud moments, because with growing so fast, there's obviously challenges, bumps in the road, mm -hmm. obviously proud moments. What are some of the challenges? Some of the biggest challenges right now, honestly, is just keeping up with production. Um, so we're, we're at the point where our demand is exceeding our supply. And so we've actually kind of expanded our production capabilities recently, brought in a couple new facilities to kind of help with that and alleviate some of those pain points. Um, and I guess some of the you know accomplishments or, or proud moments, uh, a couple years ago, my business partner and I were included in the Forbes 30 under 30 list awesome. in the food and drink category. So that was really exciting to kind of, you know, help put hemp on the, on the forefront, you know, through awesome. Forbes. Everyone check out Evo Hemp. They have some amazing flavors, bars. Thank you so much, Art. Thank you. Yeah. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.